Welcome to another episode of the number one show on television. It's all about produce, of course. My name is Crudy. Now, right now, I'm in Negril. I'm just going to walk the strips. I'm going to show you some things for the next half an hour. It's lifestyle and entertainment, number one style. Remember, my name is Crudy. <laughs> We kick off this week's show with progress style and something that the ladies love. Christopher Martin and of course the international tour of Europe. Now Christopher Martin, you know you're my friend and all these things, but we have for talk about when you keep reggae music, dancehall music and I highlight this. Now I caught up with the star recently and hear what he had to say. Listen to this. Martin. You know, so we talk about friendship, we talk about real, let's go real, recognize real. So big up all the friends, them from the ends, them a bail. Cause the chill spot can never be a kill spot. You hear me now? Chris Martin, brother, we are dealing. Good day, man. Give thanks for life, you know, big up. Alright, before we touch the whole performance and what go on inside, you recently destroyed over Europe because I see my timeline, I see the newspaper, I see everybody I talk about just the whole movement in a Europe recently. Tell me something about that. It was great man, it was great. Um, sold out venues. Yeah. Um, we did like 10 cities um, and everywhere we go sold out. You understand? We started off in Germany. No, we actually started off in Amsterdam. Um, and, and we did then we went all the way over to um like play like places like Portugal and um, Slovenia, Sweden, entire size. So so we moved from Eastern Europe and Western Europe and, and, and everywhere that they, they know Christopher Martin's songs. And I mean they don't just know one or two songs, they know like half of the set. So if we're doing twenty songs, they know like twelve of the songs, we can sing with me word for word. And that just goes to show that the music isn't falling on deaf ears, so we give thanks, man. We give thanks. Uh, Chris, we, the, the topic on every tongue right now is that dance or reggae music dying. But clearly, when you tell you things like this, it shows that people like you approve them people around. How you feel about all of that? Well, yeah, none of this never planned. You know what I mean? And I've never seen none of this happen. So as it relates to me being in music and, and making these strides and, and, and the movement is still positive, it, it goes to show that all the people who feel like reggae music or dance or music is, is, is dying or is, is on a slow pace to assure that they are wrong. You understand? Because at the end of the day, um, you have youngsters like myself, like Romain Virgo, like Chronix. You know what I mean? They still have the Jack Yours and the, and, 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 the, and the Taurus and the Capitans and the Freddie McGregor's, you know, who are still bringing the torch. And, you know what I mean? So, so reggae music and dance music is very much alive and kicking. Skip and go around them. Friend him, my friend him. Now sell me out. Now they say dance so reggae music is dying, but Christopher Martin definitely proving them wrong. Now another artist doing the exact same for years. Beanie Man, you remember the same concert that I was at last week? Well, we asked some questions of Vox Pop. We asked the people what they think about Beanie Man and which song is their favorite Beanie Man of all time. Now, my favorite Beanie Man, I'm supposed to dig in the catalog. I say, Well, man, fair. No, girl, and girl in a bungle. But me, I've one girl, she not live down a jungle. Check out this right now. Beanie Man, Vox Pop. You're watching previous. Keep it locked. Enough girl in a bungle. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of my nicknames. So. <laughs> all right, see that? You don't know. Keep it locked. As a youth. We grew up listening to Beanie Man. Tell me what kind of impact he have on your career, really. Well, you know, and I just see him one, you know, but him are one of them who have, a, you know, have a big influence on you know me as a young dancer artist, you know. Learn well Heap from him. Which Beanie Man song from Beanie Man first going to the studio? Your favorite Beanie Man? Chano, I will leave you know, but I forgot to pick one, right? Yeah, Seven one, two, one. Love girl and girl in a bungle. You need to tell me which Beanie Man is your favorite Beanie Man song ever. Oh my God, there is so much. There is so much. But the, the song um, that he did with um, Cheval Franklin and the one that he did with Lady Saw, um, Dance, Dance Song Queen for Life. And um, um, he did it since like, um, 
being a man your um being a uh, lady so I said being a man your raw that yeah. one I don't know the title <laughs> of it but the fact that he's endorsing two females on that song yeah. trust me may I endorse them two tune there All and right. of course the one with Miss Sting as well that was a massive single as well so yeah. Them three singles there from being a man, including a female, was three massive hits. Hello, what's your name? I'm Jolene. All right, Jolene, how are you doing tonight? Good. How are you enjoying the performance so far? Great so far. It's great so far. All right, the question for tonight is, which being a man song is your favorite being a man song of all time? Ah, uh, dance all queen. Dance She's all a dance all queen for life. Oh, As a selector with their own, from long time when you say being a man, like what was the first? The first thought to your mind when you really see Beanie Man just take over dancer? Well, you don't know. The thing start from original days with Shabba and Ninja and then in the 90s, Bounty Killer, Beanie Man. And, you know what I mean? So it's a good look because actually to be here tonight, yeah. to see Beanie Man by himself performing is a joy. Which Beanie Man song are your favorite of all time? <laughs> well, I hear me, I have a whole heap of Beanie Man favorites, you know what I mean? So, why? I can't pinpoint one. All of them just good, you know what I mean? How vital was Beanie Man to your career? Beanie Man, I'm a DJ, man. Yeah, yeah man, Beanie Man, I'm a DJ. And at some point in time, whenever I'm doing my shows, I like to incorporate a few songs that I like. You understand? My favorite Beanie Man song would have to be, you don't know what, she asked me right on the spot, because I have so much big, bad song. Let me see. Um, I'll, I'll let him go. From here, you, me did check for that song. Like, yeah, if you want to give you a problem, let him go. I am a wife, and I'm going to let him go. Pre this, that was the Beanie Man Vox Pop. Remember, I said earlier, I'm in Nickel, and I'll show you what the strip has to offer. Now, the Jamfi Cheerleading competition took place recently at the National Indoor Sports Complex. What it was like, just watch this next feature, and you'll see everything. Check it out right here. Pre this. Remember, you are watching Prudis. It's a number one entertainment show on television right now with the best hopes, of course. Remember, follow me on Twitter at the Crudy. We're soon forward to going for our first commercial break, and it's brought to you by Calica Jacks Rum Punch.